has been a wild 24 hours. Hello and welcome if you're new. Yes, you're on a video game channel, but it is not video games today for this topic. And yes, I am breaking my two videos a week for this because I am basically just going to update you on what happened. For those who don't know, I had made a video on Fortnite and the new clothing line that came out. It was released on Monday nights, which was... Tuesday for most of the people who lived in the other parts of the world or Wednesday morning and I basically just put that Fortnite was being ridiculous and stupid and I cussed in the video because I normally don't cuss but I was just like this is stupid so when the video got dropped it was automatically flagged and said oh Fortnite content let me do this so I manually changed it back to put comments on this is got cussing in it I didn't even submit it because it's monetized. I even submitted that it says cussing in it. And it wasn't the, the basic cussing. It was like, yeah, I, I, I dropped an F-bomb. You're going to need to make sure it's not regulated for kids. And then maybe when I got in the morning, around 7 o'clock, I checked my channel. I was like, oh, my comments are off again. So I went in, changed it back, and I put there, you know, what the hell. So I went to YouTube, and I said to YouTube um, on Twitter... You need to not flag this as kids. I cuss in the video. I don't want this getting on kids' YouTube app channel, whatever the hell it is. And they immediately saw that tweet. And I kid you not. I wasn't going to make a video, but then I saw the generic response afterwards and this pissed me off. So as soon as the, the tweet dropped, I saw something weird happen to my, my gaming PC. I have my work PC and it's on the other side of the room and then I have my setup for that because I'm currently remote for my job just for a little bit. I don't know what's going to happen but I was at my work PC and then I looked over and my monitors turned on. Mind you, my dogs were not near my PC, nobody had touched my PC and boom, right after that tweet, my monitors turned on because I had set it up to where any activity on my PC I get a notification through my monitors. So when my Use Studio popped up, I was like, okay, let me go check. Sure enough, it went completely blank screen, white screen. I couldn't see anything. I felt like somebody on the staff was trying to block what they were doing and they needed to, to make sure that I couldn't see it so I couldn't complain about it. So I manually hard reset that page. I kept refreshing that page until finally something popped up. And the first thing I saw was my middle row was all gray triangles. And I was like, my monetization's turned off. What the hell's going on? Okay. So then next thing I'd see, because I couldn't, I wasn't fast enough to get the next line, my um, restrictions went all gray triangles. And then right after that, boom, I got the photo of this one. All public is completely gone. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? I was shadow banned. I looked and my channel was shadow banned for like a few minutes. Because when I went, I have a personal account. I looked at my personal account and several of my kid videos were not showing up at all. I couldn't figure out why I was panicking. I was like, oh great, <laughs> they are blocking me. They're about to delete my channel. I couldn't see some, but I could still see my channel. So I was like, this is confusing. So maybe... They're going to get rid of my kid content altogether. I'm going to lose thousands of videos, thousands of hours of views. I'm going to have a shitter moment for real. I, I'm going to have a moment where my stuff is gone and I'm going to be just pushed aside on the dust and the wind kind of thing. So I immediately tweeted out the photos that I took. And I said, well, I guess I should never, ever tweet out to YouTube, Team YouTube ever again because... Look what the hell just happened to me. And immediately right after, this is, I just took a screenshot of this. Team YouTube said, oh yeah, hey guys. Uh, and, oh, oh, thank you for tagging me. You know, you might want to clear your catcha. This was not a catcha situation. This was not somebody who is illiterate to computers that I know exactly what I was doing that, oh, I should refresh the page. They were trying to block what they were doing so that I couldn't report it or complain about it. 
So I knew somebody had manually gone in, a staff member, after I tweeted about how there was cussing in my videos, and they were manually checking every video because after that tweet of, oh, hey, we're getting a staff member to check it, they weren't getting a staff member. There was already a staff member checking it, but they were manually putting me through a machine because I could see, boom, there's videos live. Boom, this video's live. Boom, this video's live. And it was, first it was public. All the videos were becoming public again. And then after that, it was, everything was green on my monetization which I was like, oh, okay, cool, I am good. But I saw something weird and I felt like they were gaslighting me. If you look at this, I have a, a photo of this. It says, basically, I have no restrictions, none whatsoever, and I'm green and I'm good to go, but my comments are turned off. So I feel like I really do have restrictions on my videos, but I don't see them. I wonder if they wonder if I'm a hacker or I can see something, which I am not YouTube. If you're watching this, if there's a staff member, I don't know how to hack. I just manually forced the, the page to show up again. And that's why I could see what you were doing. And I felt like they were gaslighting me and saying, oh, there's no restrictions on your videos anymore. You're good to go. But... I could see clearly that my comments are turned off and that means that that video was made for kids. I don't know why else would that happen other than that. So I feel like in the near future, anytime I have kid content, it's going to show green, no restrictions, and I'm still going to get bullshit happening to my stuff. I feel like I need to redo my channel, but not take away my content. I'm just not going to do kid videos anymore. Which even if it's just news about clothing or news about anything remotely to do with what they consider kids, I'm just not going to have it on my channel. And I've made the hard decision because I don't want this to happen ever again. I don't care. I even had, you know, put in submitted correctly everything about how it was cussing. There was no footage of the video game at all. I did not remotely put in their footage of the video game. I just tagged everything that I was supposed to tag. You know, I tagged Fortnite. I tagged... You know, the clothing company, which I can't even pronounce right now. And I tagged just that. That's all I did. So moving forward, I feel like I'm just not going to do anything that's going to be detrimental to my channel. I'm not going to remotely play any video games that are kid related. As much as I love to play Mario Kart with the community, I had actually thought I fixed my OBS. And I was going to, after October, start playing Mario Kart again. I'm not. I'm not going to play Mario Kart. I am not going to play Five, Five Nights at Freddy's. I had it that picked out. I was going to play that for hot October. I'm not going to play that. I'm not going to play anything that remotely is old PC because I see all those comments are turned off. Even though most of them say green, okay, you're good. It's like, no, I feel like there's something going on. So from now on, I'm going to play just video games, which I, as you can see, I don't have a problem with that. I'm just going to play... Video games that are not cartoony. Um, so I have to actually go and check and see what video games kind of look cartoony. So like Broken Age, I don't know, that might be considered cartoony and they might say no, even though there's violence and weird stuff going on. Death Sigma City, that's another cartoon. It's animated, gory. But would they flag that one now? So I am always worried about... What's going to happen? Because look at Solid Nate's channel. Solid Nate got taken away within five minutes. They didn't even explain anything. They kind of just said, oh, yeah, um, so sorry. Like, they would not acknowledge us at all and let us know, like, hey, here's the reason why. And I truly feel that if a bigger YouTuber had that happen to, they would have their community behind them and they would have told YouTube and YouTube would have finally talked to us and told us what's happened to, you know, Nate's channel. But they're not going to do that. And that's what's so sad is there's not anything for us. And I understand. I've, I've heard bigger YouTubers say, well, it's kind of hard when you only get about 500 views. That's not going to work for them. They don't need to put any effort onto that. But they do. They need to put YouTube staff members to where we might not get an answer within five minutes, but at least within 24 to 48 hours. Not a generic response, but like, hey... Let me go in the DMs and let me talk to you. They only do that when you're hacked, when your channel's hacked. 
not anything minor, not anything that they think is just an error on our part. And that's what irritates me is they feel like we're all stupid. We're all idiots that we can't figure out the channel at all. It's like, oh yeah, I looked at it, your channel's fine. No, that is so weird that I'm getting none and I got zero comments. So yeah, I, I feel like you did something to where I'll stop complaining. I'll go back my, my merry way and I'll leave it alone. I'm not going to leave it alone. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to hopefully get this into other people and start talking about it again. I saw a YouTuber who he was about travel and photography and different things like that. His links weren't working. And this was his job. YouTube is his job. And he couldn't get his links to work. He couldn't get his studio to work. And they said, oh, have you refreshed your catch -up? Have you deleted your catch -up? Have you done this? Is it only on this one or is it on every device? It's like that fucking thing doesn't work anymore. And I'm cussing more now in my videos because I feel that if I don't cuss, that that's going to happen to me again. I, I feel like me just being generic and not cussing at all or picking a side, it's not working anymore. I have to, you know, be like Atari creep and put some ridiculous advertisement in the beginning of it and just say, hey, my channel's changed. Now, I'm not going to cuss a lot. I'm not going to cuss every five seconds. I'm just heated right now and irritated. But back to that YouTuber. That YouTuber was not getting any, any communication whatsoever. And that person wasn't at all remotely small. They were in the thousands. They were not, you know, 1,000. They were, they were at least several channels that had at least 100k in, in subs. So that tells me that they don't care about even the people who are 100k. So you, your big YouTubers telling all of us that, oh no, don't worry about it because you're small fry. 100k is not small fry. When did it become a small fry thing? You get a play button for it, you know? And so... That's why I said, like, if Philip DeFranco hadn't come in and help out and see that and go, oh, wow, let me talk to my contact, that person would have never gotten his channel fixed. That person would have been still sitting there, twiddling their thumbs, losing revenue, and not being able to get paid. And then what happens? Oh, they can't get a job right now because of it was 2020. So saying, oh, well, they could just get another job. It's kind of hard at this point right now to get a job. So... He wasn't doing anything bad, not any problems whatsoever. He couldn't he couldn't comment to anybody. Comments were still open, so it looked like he was just a nutcase to that to the YouTube staff. I don't know why you're complaining. You still got comments on there. He couldn't comment. His studio was completely fried, and the app, YouTube staff, the app doesn't work. FYI, the app is horrible. If I go on my YouTube for my studio app from the mobile device, it does not work. It was showing me green on everything. It did not show me any of the problems that the desktop app showed me. And if the comments are turned off and I can't manually fix it because you guys keep saying that a video is made for kids, I have to go into my desktop app and then that option is there. It's not in my mobile app. I have to manually go through 500 steps to get to where I need to go. I have to open up this window to open that, to open that. It shouldn't be that hard on a manual app that you have to go in and do 500 steps to get to one thing. I, I love the desktop app. It's a great thing. It's a great feature. But because of this situation, I realized that if I was by myself at work, I wouldn't have seen what you did. And then I would have just gone about my merry way. I would have tweeted. I got the generic response. Would have been happy. And would have been like, oh, they actually listened to me. And not seeing that you gaslighted me and told me, oh yeah, did you check your catch? Did you did you refresh everything? Did you sign in and sign out? It's like, uh, hello, you you are secretly doing stuff to mess with people so that nobody can know exactly what's going on. And I get it; it's a business. You know, they need to make money, but they also need to realize that the small YouTubers are what keep the communities going. I'm being real. If I didn't have a channel or I didn't have buddies to watch, I wouldn't have been on YouTube. I'd be on Netflix 24-7. And if a majority of us just say, you know, screw it, like they did with so many other apps like Vine. Vine just had people just go, I'm done. I'm out. And they were crumbled. So any big guy who thinks that they can't be taken down can be taken down. Look at Twitch. You know, they're getting to the point where many users are leaving because of DMCA crap going on so 
I'm gonna end it there and I'm going to stop rambling because I don't want to have this video be 30 minutes long and I wanted to update you guys. So moving forward, again, recap, moving forward, I won't be doing any kid-friendly stuff at all. Uh, even if I see something ridiculous, I'm not gonna worry about it anymore. I am not gonna play any video games that are kid-friendly at all. I might buy them and just play them on my own, but I'm not gonna play anything that would remotely be flagged as a uh, shadow band or anything like that because those videos they're gone they're not going to do well anymore <laughs> they have no interaction whatsoever so i understand you're going to probably be irritated and mad but i hope that i can find other games to play with you guys that is somewhat better and we can play as a community so if you got any suggestions on community-based games that are not Nintendo, because I was going to buy Super Smash Brothers, but then I saw this situation happen, so not going to play that either. Um, that's not Nintendo, that we can play online, that is not cartoony, and will not get me flagged, and weird stuff happened. And if you do see this video, and you're going, wow, that is bad, share it. You know, share it somewhere, and... If you have any problems that you've had in the past, I've seen a couple people tweet me and DM me about their situation, put it in the comments. Let's get this going, let's get this out there, and hopefully YouTube will see this and go, oh, let's fix communication, let's give a staff member to the smaller YouTubers. And yes, I understand it's kind of hard to do for how many there are in the world, but even if you could just have something generic where I can talk to somebody and know the point of contact for, even if you have one for gaming, for beauty, for, you know, travel, something, something to help us out because this generic response thing is getting old and it's really irritating me. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I truly want to thank everybody who tweeted, liked, even if you just barely liked it and just walked away. I, I appreciate that because that got traction to everybody to see that my channel could have been gone in five seconds, just like Solid Nades. And I really thank you all for just showing something, some support. And I'm grateful for you every time you like, every time you show support to a smaller channel that is only, I only have 2K. So I, I really thank you for just, even if you just say yas in my comment section, I'm grateful for that. And to anybody who just barely watches for five seconds and you're going, ah, eh, she rambled, I don't like her. Thank you. You took the time to show up to my video and I appreciate it. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Oh well, life goes on and I'll catch you next time. Keep on gaming. Bye everybody. Linda the Gamer Girl She's here, she's playing games Linda the Gamer Girl She's here, she's playing games